welcome back to sisters travels um uh, today i think i might be a day or two late on this one but i i just saw this up, up pop up on my instagram but there is an, a trailer an official trailer for the new kingdom hearts game of melody of memory so i'm gonna watch it i have not watched it yet so this will be my reaction to it so you guys get to watch it with me as the fierce struggle ended master xehanort gave up the keyblade and kingdom hearts was sealed away but it was still far from over. Oh, I haven't heard this song in a while. Okay, so you get a music library when you completed a song. How how interesting. I'm afraid such mysteries are beyond our comprehension. Maybe Mickey or Master Yen Sid knows. Any news? Okay, so my thoughts on it. Um, it's a rhythm game, which are honestly some of my favorite games. I remember like the very first rhythm game I ever got, play, got to play was Guitar Heroes, then I moved on to DJ Hero. And now I have like mobile games like um, Demo, Voice, Sidus, and Sidus 2. Um, I like the like the the rhythm tapping element to it um i remember you kind of get introduced to the rhythm tapping in, in kingdom hearts 2 when you visit atlantica and you have to play all those songs this looks really interesting i like the aspect i'm really curious of how i'm going to be able to do the the tapping on like a ps4 because that's what i have and um i'm excited because it's coming out this year and not too far from now Oh, I'm so excited. This never happened ever that you get three Kingdom Hearts game in one year. Cause like we, in the beginning of this year, we got Remind. Then uh, I want to say towards spring or yeah, spring, we got Dark Road, the mobile app game. And then now we're getting a whole console game. This is, oh, this is a nice time for such a horrible time too. But this is something nice. But um, yeah, I'm excited to play it. Um, my thoughts, uh, I'm curious of how it's going to continue the story because from what I've heard that this is actually a direct continuation of three. So, cause if you guys played Remind, you know, that was a direct continuation and I just want to know how 
if you guys seen like you know the secret ending when you go up against Yazor after you be complete all the data battles and you have to go up against him how does he tie into this will he tie into it will he show up will we get more clues about that mysterious black box that Maleficent and Pete are looking for and um, the missing uh, Keyblade, um, the first Keyblade bearers, the uh, the Seekers of Light. You know, do they play a role into this? Uh, also, Lushu, what what's going to happen with that? And um, I know because at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, that was the end of the Xehanort saga. So I'm really excited about what's going to happen next. Is it going to show anybody who was in that Castle of Oblivion, like Skulls and stuff like that? I want to know how many people will they show? I'm excited. I cannot wait. So when I when when the time comes. Um, I will get it, I will play it, and I'll do another review on it. Okay, so that's it for now. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And also comment below on what you think. If you're a fan of Kingdom Hearts, what do you think? If, let's let's like have a, like a friendly guess. What do you think is inside the black box? And who is the Master of Masters? If you know who it is, please leave a comment down below. I think I know who it is, but I'm not sure. But, you know, if you have anything, let me know and I will respond to your comments in the next video. Alright, so that's it for this one. I'll see you all next time. Bye!